How's it going everybody? My name is Rev. I'm a locally based Facebook marketing expert here in Western Australia. Uh, we've been doing this for a bit, a bit over seven years now and we manage anywhere from twelve dollars to $15,000 in ad spend per week. So we know what we're doing at the end of the day. So today, as the title suggests, I'm going to show you our best three lead generation strategies. So this isn't going to pertain so much to e-commerce. If you own an online store, it's probably not going to be good for you. So I'll probably switch off and ask me for a couple of e-commerce tips. This is for anyone who wants to generate more leads from Facebook, whether you have a local business or a national or international business, and you understand the value behind this. So we're gonna get straight into it, okay? So our best lead generation strategy to start with really is uh, using lead forms. So if you haven't used lead forms before, lead forms are the ones where you'll be scrolling on Facebook, you'll see an ad that interests you, and then you click get quote, or you click a button, and then it pushes down a form, essentially, and it automatically populates your information, like your first name or your full name as well as your email and your phone number. And that information automatically populates through the information that you've given Facebook in your profile. So it's a really handy way to get information very quickly. You can understand if you make it a little bit easier for people to give you their personal information, uh, then it's gonna be more likely you get more opt-ins, you're gonna get more leads at the end of the day. So that's probably one of the biggest benefits. And this is the way that we set up the lead form. So I'm gonna give you a visual, uh, an illustration, a massive on flowcharts, as you'll, as you'll see. But with flowcharts and showing you this illustration, this is exactly what it would look like. So you choose a lead form campaign, LF, then you would select your audience, which for this demonstration is gonna be AUD, not Australian dollars. So you select your audience and then you would create your ad. Okay, now bear in mind with your ad, you gotta have good copy, you gotta have text, you gotta be talking, calling out their problems, you know, talking to pain points, so on and so forth. If you don't know what this is, then send me a message and I'll give you some feedback on the sort of copy you should have. Uh, but that's what happens in the ad there. Then you select an image, you select a video, you create a video, and that would go in your ad. Then you select your audience, okay? Just taking a step back here. Now your audience, you, know, you can go through a whole bunch of different ways to create an audience in Facebook. Um, and a side note here, uh, if you don't have an ads manager account, I need you to Google two things. How to set up a Facebook business manager for your Facebook page and how to set up an ad account for your Facebook business manager. You can Google those two things. The two top search results are the ones that are gonna help you understand exactly what we're talking about here. So take notes and do that one later. But the audience is stuff like selecting different interests. So for example, if uh, if you owned a beauty brand and you were selling you know, cosmetic, uh, anything in the way of cosmetics really, then you can literally select people who are interested in cosmetics, people who are interested in beauty, people who are interested in health, wellness, fitness, so on and so forth. A whole range of different things that you go with down there. But essentially, in a side note here, uh, the way that people get interested in these things by selecting them within the Facebook audience selection here is by interacting with other cosmetic type content on Facebook, not just on Facebook, but also around the web, Google searches and whatever else, whatever other data Facebook has access to. That's how they end up in the interest section, okay? So again, we select the lead form objective, then we select our audience and then we create our ad. Now, this is what's going to give you a lot more certainty with your testing. If you've done this before, right, which a lot of business owners, especially here in WA, have, what tends to happen is they'll select one audience and one ad. Now, how the hell do you know that that ad's gonna be of interest to this audience? You don't. You need to test, and this is where Facebook gets really powerful. So what you do, after you've created that, and after that goes into the review process, hopefully it gets approved, fingers crossed, is then you go back through and you create another three variations of that ad. So now you have a lead form campaign, one audience, and three different ads. Now, some of the things you might change, definitely the copy, the text in the end, definitely the image, and or definitely the video as well. There's so many different variations you can run, but at the end of the day, you need to be testing, you need to do your due diligence to find out whether this audience even gives a shit about your ad. So that's why we do that here. So we have three different ads. Then after you've created those three different ads, and they are also now in the review process, then you take a step back and you go to the audience level, AKA the ad set level, and you would then test another three, sorry, another two audiences. So you would have three in total. And by doing that, you literally just duplicate the audience. It's going to pull these three ads into these other audience, audiences here. So now essentially what you're doing 
is within this one campaign, you would have three audiences, and within each one of those audiences, aka ad sets, you would have three different ads. So you're testing about nine different variations at once, which is great, instead of just one, which is where everybody goes wrong, in my opinion. So what tends to happen here, especially with your budget, is I always set that budget on the campaign level, which is here. And so you'd say like, I don't know, $20 a day. If you don't know where to start, I would start at $20 a day. Uh, and that's gonna feed out and distribute based on the, the amount of leads that you're getting from that audience or that ad. So let's say, for example, this audience gives us the most leads and this ad gives us the most leads at $20 a day, automatically through the algorithm on Facebook, which is incredibly powerful, is going to feed through that audience and that ad because that's getting us the most bucks at the end of the day. So that is a lead form campaign. That is one of our best performing strategies, one of three that I'm sharing with you today. Let's erase this bad boy. Fast forward, no one needs to see me erase a whiteboard. So the second strategy here, one of our best performing strategies is a message campaign. Now you can connect this to a messenger bot if you want. I'm not gonna go into that today. I'm just gonna show you the framework of how this is built and it's very similar to the lead form campaign in the way that we do our testing with different audiences and different ads. So very similar. So what you would do is you would select the message objective when you go to create the campaign. You'll see lead forms there, you'll see a whole bunch of other stuff and there's messages as well, MSG. And then you would go through and you create your audience. No different to the lead form campaign. And then after that, you would create your ad. Similarly to the lead form campaign, once that's in the review process, you would go back through and you would create a second ad. Then you would create your third ad. So now we have three ads within that one audience, AKA ad set. Only after doing that, do you go back through and you duplicate this audience, get another two audiences up, and now we have another two audiences with the same three ads in it. So again, just to reiterate, I really want you to understand the visual of this, is we have a objective, we have three audiences, and within each one of those three audiences, we have the same three ads. The cool thing about doing this as well is all of your social proof, your likes, comments, shares, all of that stuff that makes an ad look good, makes it look in high demand, is all going to congregate on all of those three ads. So essentially, if this audience delivers, you know, let's just say, for example, 100 likes to this ad, and that's the best performing ad, then this audience is also going to do the same. This audience is also going to do the same. It's going to look really popular. And then you can start to draw on the herd mentality by people wanting to engage with an ad or content on Facebook that a thousand other people, aka likes, are engaging with as well. So really good stuff. So that's a message campaign. That's number two out of three of our best performing strategies. What tends to happen here in comparison to a lead form campaign is you can initiate a conversation straight away. You need to respond to these people promptly. The faster, if you can respond to someone straight away within like a second, within five seconds, within 10 seconds, it's a good surprise. They're like, oh, I didn't realize you're gonna reply so quickly. That's such a good thing. There's not enough emphasis on replying really fast to messages. Whereas lead forms, you'll get their phone number, their blah, 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 their blah, 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 and then you'll call them up and then you'll try and initiate um, you know, a conversation or an inquiry from that point. Whereas messages happens straight away, so it's great. Bear in mind that you have to have your phone on you or you have to be in front of a computer to reply to these messages ASAP or build a bot. So what'll happen there is you'll get your messages. Your messages will start to come through and reply to them straight away. There's a, uh, the bot that we use, the messenger uh, bot that we use is called ManyChat, M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T, ManyChat. And that'll be something that you can build. Again, I'm not gonna go through it today. This is very technical and connect to here. So you can predominantly ask them some frequently asked questions or answer some frequently asked questions. People who are shopping around for price, you'd have an automatic response to say, hey, here's a, a rough costing of price, blah, blah, blah. Would you like to have a chat? Would you like to book in? So on and so forth. Or where are you located? Or um, you know, ask them some similar stuff to the lead forms. You know, hey, can we get your email so we can send you a quote? Or hey, can we get your phone number so we can give you a call at a later date? When's a good time to call you? That kind of stuff. So that's when the bot tends to come in pretty well to that, and that's through many chats. So that's two of three, very, very simple strategy, similar to lead forms, just different backend execution in the way that you are responding people to people straight away. Next, 
fast forward, the last of our best lead generation strategies is called a conversion campaign. So you have to have a website or a landing page. We use ClickFunnels, mainly because we've been using it for a bit over seven years, uh, to do this particular campaign. And it's good because you can really get specific on what you want from Facebook, what information you want from your leads and inquiries. So it's good like that. Much more technical than the first two, that's why I've left it to last, uh, but it is very powerful. So this is what it is. You would select the conversion objective within the ads manager when you go to create your campaign, right? From here, you would do pretty much the same. You would select your audience. You would create your ad. Nothing different from the past two strategies. Where it gets different is you would have this ad send people to a landing page. And then on that landing page, you would, that landing page really has to be so congruent with that ad to give you a, a comparison, to give you an example here, is I saw a really good ad for a gym, maybe about, well, a bit over 12 months ago now, and it was an exceptional offer, great offer, you know, no sign up fees, this and that, this and that, all of this extra added value. And then from that ad, they sent them to their generic website, which had no, no information about what was on that ad. So there's zero congruency, there was zero ties to what this landing page was talking about compared to the ad. So this landing page needs to be accentuating and giving more information on this offer, on this ad. So just bear that in mind when you go and create your landing pages or have them created, okay? So that landing page goes here. This is where you'd ask for some of their information. You say, hey, if you want this free ebook, if you want this free information, if you want this free download, or if you'd like a quote, then give us your full name, your email address, your phone number. Just be very transparent about what's gonna happen next. Hey, we're gonna email you, please respond. Hey, we're gonna give you a phone call or text you, just respond when you can just so people are aware what is going to happen next and you get better quality leads. Well, not even that. People will be more aware that they're going to be contacted. You get more contacts, you talk to more people and do more business. That's usually the way it works. So that's what that landing page asks for is some of their details here. And then they hit a TY thank you page. Okay, so that is the life cycle of a conversion campaign. To set this up, you need to have a pixel, a Facebook pixel on the landing page and on the thank you page. And what's happening here is Facebook through this conversion campaign is only looking for people who are hitting that thank you page. If people are hitting the thank you page, they're going through the ads, they're in that audience, they're going to the landing page, they like what you're talking about and they're hitting the thank you page. And that feedback loop feeds back into the start of that campaign and it only gets better. Really, really good tactic. Very, very technical to set up. I'm not gonna bullshit you right here, um, but it is a very, 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 very productive lead generation campaign. So that's all three of these, okay? Now, I understand you guys, if there's some of you out there who this doesn't make any sense to, I can understand, I would say at least 90% of the people and business owners that we're talking to across Australia and even internationally now, are really at that point where they, they've run a few ads before, uh, they've run a few campaigns, they've probably really, to be fair, only run that kind of strategy regardless of the objective. They've just selected one audience, one ad hasn't got any results, but you guys understand now that we need to be testing multiple ads and multiple audiences. If you would like a hand setting this up, I would encourage you to book a call. Um, there's no obligation on this call. I think if you guys have been following me for a while, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but if you have, you know I'm big about giving away value. I'm big about, I'm happy to have a chat with you guys over the phone so we can talk through some of this stuff. It might only cost you 30 minutes and, and no cost to you whatsoever, but you have a better understanding about how this tends to go. Uh, for those who are interested in doing future business with you, just ask on the phone call. But we especially are big on giving value first. That's why we do so well. That's why we have like a fantastic client base at the moment who've been working for upwards of seven months on some of these campaigns and, it, and getting a fantastic return on investment. We sort of benchmark about two to 2.5 times what you'd spend on us included with the ad spend. So we do really good work. But first and foremost, all of those clients, I dare say, maybe with an exceptional one or two, have come from a phone call, us giving value, them going away, trying to do it themselves. Maybe they're successful, maybe they're not. And then they come back to us and say, hey, look, I just want to give this to you guys. Or, hey, I want to pursue a mentorship. Or, hey, I want to do this and that and do some sort of um, paid consultation. That's up to you. But I would 100% thoroughly recommend that you book a call. You'll be talking to me 
and uh, my big mug, and hopefully I don't bore you too much, but honestly you will get a lot more clarity about how to set these things up. And we'll talk a bit more about the sort of audiences you should be targeting, the sort of offers that you should put out there as well, and most certainly the types of ads, and get some direction on which one of these three lead generation strategies you should probably look forward to, okay? So click one of the links below so you can book a call, and I'll talk to you soon. See you later.